Oh my gosh. Promise you, it's time to lower the crib. This is my first time catching her standing up in the crib and I'm shocked at what I'm finding. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's one pillow is not fluffed properly. But I am loving my new bed frame. Loving the height, loving the design. Now I gotta work on the side tables. But let's go check out Zoe. Let's see, what is she doing? This is like a secret cam. I'm seeing what the baby's doing in there. She's allowing me to get stuff done. She doesn't notice me yet. Hey, young lady. Hey. 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 How are you supposed to be climbing out? Guys, I caught my baby doing this. Look at what she's doing. Oh my gosh, I promise you, it's time to lower the crib. Oh my gosh. And I'm so nervous because when she stands up, you don't want her to hit her mouth on the wood. So yeah, definitely time to lower the crib. Oh my. Wait till dad sees this, Zoe. Huh? Wait till dad sees this. Look at what you're doing. I was hoping you wouldn't do that, but uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at what you're doing. Yeah, I can't believe I caught her doing this. What if I was in there? Because I'm in my room trying to clean up. What if I didn't come around? Like she could flip out over down there and that would not be good. Look, look at you, all sturdy and stuff. You're just making me nervous. That's why I'm holding your hand because <laughs> you're brave. I know you can stand already. I know. Can you sit for me? Can you sit? Are you shook, girl? <laughs> she looks surprised there. She's like, don't do that. I want to do what I want to do. Am I restricting you? Yeah? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. That means I can't leave you in this crib unattended, Zoe. That's what this means. I cannot. Oh, excuse me. Don't talk bad. What does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, look at you. That's not good. You can't. Oh my gosh, I'm going to send this to daddy. Daddy's going to be so surprised. He's going to have to lower this for you because you're getting too big. Zoe? Zoe? Are you playing in your drool? That's gross. Zoe? <laughs> no oh my gosh you're scaring me hi guys good morning welcome back to our channel welcome back for another video so it is another girl it's another homeschooling day oh and ignore my top if you guys saw it yesterday it's just one of those moments when your girl just jumped up out of bed and just put on the same shirt don't worry i will shower later don't come for me um but you know <sighs> it's just one of those days. Anyways, it's another homeschooling day in the Zebra Tribe house. Can you believe it's the second week of school already? Like, where is the time going? The girls are downstairs. They're getting themselves together. We're going to be doing some read aloud together. And, um, yeah, we're going to go through what we need to together as a group because I find it more beneficial for me to get that stuff done out of the way. Then they can do their independent work after and I can at least find time to put the baby to sleep as well as edit a vlog and get my household stuff done. I hope you guys enjoyed my little organization hall, organize, homeschool organization video the other day. Um, for those of you guys that are new to our channel, that is just like a little corner on the upstairs. Like I have an actual home library downstairs, a giant, giant library in our basement because our basement's kind of friendly. It's not like a, you know, deep, dark dungeon. So it's a nice place to have a library and a lot of our homeschooling supplies are down there just in case you're wondering because after putting up the video, I was like, hmm, 
I bet you someone coming along who's like legit looking up homeschooling organization, they're going to probably think that's all their material. And it's like, no, it's just the bits that we use upstairs. I was trying to formally use downstairs as a homeschooling room, but I'm still finding it hard to just transition going down there and leaving all of our stuff down there as opposed to working upstairs sometimes in the dining room or in the kitchen. So yeah, we're trying to figure it out even though I'm going to start working out soon and I think I'm going to find it, find working downstairs a lot easier because Zoe can be in the like playroom area or in the library area on the rug while I'm on the treadmill or something. So I'm trying to figure things out. It is, it's just one step at a time and I don't want to give up. Gabrielle, I need you on this side after. That's where all of the stuff is needing to be cleaned, right? Anyways, guys, we're just trying to clean up our house. We're about to do schoolwork here. The kitchen area, Mick's taking care of her chore zone that she didn't take care of last night. Nope. Nope, but... but pretty, yeah, there wasn't a lot of care, though. But you're taking care of it now. Yeah. Okay, and this is a disaster zone because this is where we were chilling most of our night last night. We were... We started... Started a family book club, and yeah. with that... Oh, my gosh, it rained. Did you guys know it it rained? Yeah. Yeah, we started a family book club, and so we are um, meeting once a week to discuss the book that we've been reading. So we had it over there last night. I mean, it looks like we legit had a party with popcorn and everything, but literally, it's really like Zoe's toy, toys everywhere, and um, just, I don't know what the kids were doing on the table. There's just stuff everywhere. So we got to clean up our house before we get started, and I, I'm mentioning this. I'm mentioning this because I, some of you guys in the comments in the past have mentioned how come the girls don't get involved in cleaning, and the reality is that they do. I just don't always show it because I'm always thinking like the zebra tri family like we're fun and so I was I always try even though I try to make sure I incorporate real life in our vlogs I was trying to show more of just the fun aspect but I feel like I want to incorporate more of just real life but it's like are they going to get any views are they going to watch like we already have are you okay <laughs> for with regards to our subscribe subscribers ratio I feel like our views are already down enough so it's like I'm trying to put out content that's actually gonna get views and to get the views up on our channel however it's hard it's hard being like black vloggers or interracial vloggers because I definitely don't think we get as much love as the other vloggers out there and yes people work hard on their channel but this has been the subject matter that's been talked about here and there all over YouTube before it's nothing new when you're an interracial family you it's like, where does your love come from? Where does the views come from? It's most of our viewers, from what I've seen, are a lot of black um, viewers. And, like, I want our channel... We're a diversified family, so it would be great. I, I love for our channel to be diversified. I appreciate everyone who we have, but I welcome everyone, you know? And the support isn't always there. For our fam interracial families are not always there. Though I do, we feel we get mad love from all of you guys. But I'm saying in terms of growing our channel. And I don't want, I never want to talk about that. But it's the truth. And so, like, I try to find different topics, different videos that are, you know, out there that are popular, that are trending to create videos off of to help you know, to help just with the growth of our channel. And I'm just being patient. I'm trying to refine our content each day and perfecting it and making things a little bit better. So I hope um you guys that are here are enjoying what you are, what we're putting out. Um, Like, keep in mind, we're always striving to do better at what we're doing. And um, yeah, I appreciate all, all of your love and support. So, um, yeah, I think that's what I was trying to tell you. It's another homeschooling day, and unlike some of certain vloggers out there that are big and already well-known, or, you know, even homeschooling families, they're not necessarily showing these parts of their homeschooling life. They're just showing you, like, the parts where it's like, hide and seek, let's have fun. Oh, it's exciting news today. There are all these exciting things happening, and, um... I mean, it's not the case here. Like there are, you know, we have fun times in our day, but good grief, like this is real life. And so that's the part that I want to show you. Anyways, they forgot to pick up their books. Books. Oh, I'm going to wash someone's hair today. Area is clean. Let's go check out over here. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Wow. It's a mess. So 
this is where we're probably going to be working and we just are trying to get you guys don't see but one thing you got to know about me is i have a hard time functioning in our house doing our daily routine if we if we don't clean up because i find it hard to function in chaos and if i find it hard to function in chaos i think the kids will too guys i found these awesome dish towels at winners the other day they're so thick oh my gosh I can't wait. are you excited too she's excited yes Soon you'll be in on this routine of ours, and well, she is in on the routine. She's a part of it, but she's got to get to cleaning up her mess, right, Zozo? -so? Yeah. Let's see that crazy crab walk. Look at what Charlotte does to entertain her sister. <laughs> Are you entertained, Zoe? And Zoe, Zoe's doing a bad thing. the magnet on this calendar and I think we need to be these on it too okay, so I want to show you quickly that when I, I showed oh my gosh I'm, I, now looking at this I actually see that the middle two aren't centered but it's not that big of a deal this is the calendar it's the back of the calendar that I showed you the other day this is how I set it up basically obviously these two could be a little bit more centered but that's how I get it to stick to the fridge without falling off. And this is how I keep our calendar um, on the fridge and see, nice and secure because all the corners are, you know, bolted down. And then as you, you just go ahead and you just flip each section and you rip it off when the month is over. So yeah. Anyways, guys, yeah, homeschooling is going pretty great today. We had a big powwow, had a big meeting initially, um, just talking about how we plan on doing things and how we're going to do things. And we also had a big discussion about our devotion. Our devotion question for today was so intense. It was like, it was a discussion. It was, it was basically talking about this young girl who went to school and she lives a double life because on Sunday she's different at, ch you know, she's a church girl and then from Monday to Friday at school. She's totally different. I thought I'd share a little bit of that kind of stuff with you guys. We don't, it's always so up in the air. We are not ashamed to share who we are, but I know that people sometimes don't want to necessarily hear it. And I guess that's even more of a reason why I should be sharing a little bit more of it in the vlog, because we definitely want people to support us for who we are, as opposed to just what we put out to make people want to subscribe. So yeah. Anyways, I'm, I got supper on the stove, cooking, yeah, hubby's on his way home, no, actually, no, he called, he's going to be running a little bit late, so he's not going to be home for, he's not going to leave work for another hour, yeah, pretty much hour, and then um, when he gets here, supper will be here, so that is the day so far, hopefully when the girls wrap up their things, I'm going to try to get my vlog up while they're busy still working, and then after, I'm going to, maybe we can play a game of um, Banana Grants, because I've been longing to play that for a long time. And we all have, have to get our reading done. Well, actually, no, we have to get our reading done for Reading Club at some point in this week. It's only one chapter, so it's not going to be very long. So I probably will try to read mine today, because I know how hard it is for me to read when I've got the baby. But... Benji, have you done your reading today? Yeah. About Animal Farm? Yeah. Have you done your reading? Huh? No jumping down. Behold, the How was it? Good. <laughs> I served the kids some good old ramen because I don't know. Hey, college kids, now, Gabrielle, yeah. your food is ready. Can you Just come and get it? The question and the answer. Okay, that's great, but you gotta eat too, right? Fuel your brain so your brain can think. Hi guys, so sorry for ending the video so abruptly. So I'm just coming here to give, uh, you know, formally close the vlog. And to also thank you guys for tuning in. Guys, did you see what Zoe is doing? Uh, after learning how to stand, this girl doesn't even know what sit is anymore. She just wants to stand 24-7 as you can see here. Yes, and she's... As you can see, she's standing up, she holds on to me, and yeah, this is the new thing now. So I guess she might be skipping crawling and will just be standing and walking pretty soon. Um, also, uh, let me know what you think of the subject matter that I spoke about on the topic of interracial families kind of getting not 
you know, no love on YouTube. And I know what you guys are going to say, that there are families on here that, you know, are interracial and they're okay, but, and they're succeeding. But like I said, it's far and few in between. And at the same time, I feel like Christian homeschooling families, like it's, if you're, if your life isn't like super duper, um, out there and you're not doing things to get attention, it's, uh, it's a little different. So leave a message down below and let me know. <laughs> Did I just say leave a message? I'm not even, I'm not even deleting that. But yeah, just comment down below and let me know what y'all think of what I said. And um, thanks for those of you who are showing mad love and support to our channel. You are so appreciated and we love you guys. Thanks again and much love, y'all. Hi guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hey, hi, Charlotte. Hi. Hi. Hi.